My name is John Barrett. I'm with Online Trading Academy, Mumbai. Today I'm going to be addressing a trading topic that's uh, a very important trading topic, one of the most important. Uh, I like to speak a lot about the psychology of trading and the things that cause traders to make mistakes and also the things that they need to learn to do things right. Uh, one of the main topics is, uh, or one of the topics I'd like to address is holding on to winning trades. You often hear people maybe in the trading community talk about holding on to losing trades and the problems with holding on to losers. And it's a common thing that's said in trading that you hold on to, hold on to winners and cut losers. Well, uh, we talk about stops and other things to, to control losers, but how do, we, how do we hold on to winners? Now, it's one of the biggest problems that we have. People have trouble holding on to winners because there's a certain instinctive thing about uh, trading that, that, well, about our life, actually, that we bring into trading a certain mentality that we have. And part of that is that we, we need to seize opportunity when we see it. You know, it's part of how it's ingrained in our thinking that we need to, in order to make money or to seize opportunity, we have to, we, we just have to, to grab it when it's there. So therefore, traders tend to see a profit, they want to take a profit. You know, they, they see a loss, they don't want to take the loss. You know, and uh, of course the loss problem is uh, that uh, we don't want to book the loss and those things. But what about the winner? How do we hold on to that winner? Now, over my trading career, which has been a long trading career, I learned from some great traders. And I also learned in my own trading over time that there's certain ways that a mentality you have to develop to be a trader. And part of that is to be able to hold on to winning trades. Now, uh, and to be comfortable holding winning trades. You know, very often people are not comfortable holding winners. You know, and I like to, and I express to my students too, think about it. You got into the trade to make money. Now you're making money in the trade. Why would you get out of the trade? It's not going to where you plan for it to go. We talk in our classes and things about trading plans and having a plan for a trade, and, you know, that we'll have a goal for it. And often people will exit before those goals. And the reason they do that is that they want to seize that opportunity. They don't want to let that profit get away. So there's a couple things we can do. I call it kind of a mental exercise, but it's a personality trait that we kind of have to commit ourselves to. And that is that we don't look at the money in a profitable trade as our money. And we don't, in other words, we don't count the money while we're in the trade. It's not really mine. It's mine when I book the trade. After I book the trade, it becomes part of my capital. And so we'll discuss, you know, what we do then after it's part of our capital, how we protect capital. So if I can develop the mentality where I don't look at the profits as my money yet, I will after I book the trade, then I'll treat those profits and protect them like I do all trades, and we teach our students about protecting profits, uh, and, you know, and, and using certain rules about how we protect profits. But the problem is that many of them can't ever get to that point. You know, one thing that I like to say, think about this for a second. If you had a winning trade, and you decide, well, I'm just going to get out of this trade, one is, I hear people say all the time, I can just get back in. The truth is, you just can't get back in. If you understand trading, and once you get to understand trading very well, what ends up happening is that the second entry into a trade, after it's already traveled in your direction, you took profit, now you want to re-enter, you, you have another uh, win-loss scenario. Your risk to reward has changed, and uh, the trade is a completely different trade. So while we had a winning trade and we had profit, now we'll go and spend that profit by taking on new risk even in the same trade. So that is one of the worst things we can do. So once we have a winning trade, we need to learn to retain those profits, not being trying to re-enter that trade again. It's a different trade. It's not a continuation of the same trade. Therefore, we also need to learn that we don't want to jump out quickly because we can't get back in so easy. You know, that's where the anxiety comes in. If you're experiencing anxiety in your trading, a lot of it has to do with things like jumping in and out of trades because you don't then know what to do with the trade. So you jump back in and then the trade starts against you. Well, once you jump back in, it's already moved in your direction again. So you're actually losing a certain amount of money every time you're jumping in and out of this trade. And, uh, and then you don't know what to do. When the market inevitably does pull back some, move against your trade, now where's your stop? And that's where you get stuck in trades and holding losers. The other thing that happens to people is they don't realize this. Let me explain this scenario. You're in a winning trade. You jump out of the trade and think, well, I'm going to take this profit. So I'm not going to let this profit get away from me. Even though it's got nowhere near your target amount, 
that you planned on or your expectation of the trade. It's just that you can't stand to risk that capital, that money that you have in the trade. So then what you'll do, what all traders will do, is they go and look for a new trade. Now the way I look at it, since I don't count this money that's in the trade as my, as my money, then I don't look at any loss related to that money as my loss. So for all practical purposes, I, the way I look at this trade from where it is right now, it's gone high and it's gone in my favor, but it's still got quite a bit further to go. The way I look at it is my capital is no longer, for all intents and purposes, really at risk any longer. My stop is far below and there's not much chance that my capital is at risk. So thank you very much for watching. I'm, uh, my name is John Barrett. I'm here in Mumbai. Uh, please visit our website, uh, onlinetradingacademy.com slash Mumbai. Uh, we have classes here in Mumbai and we welcome you to come and take our classes. And uh, thank you very much.